Our beginner's walking baseline for this lesson is Afternoon in Paris by John Lewis. This baseline was composed with the complete beginner walking bassist in mind. This tune is great for practicing your 251 walking bass lines in different keys. In the B section, we're coming back to our old friend, the walk up. All right, that's enough of me talking. This is what the bass line sounds like. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> The A sections are full of 251 chord progressions that cycle through three key centers. We start in the key of C with C major 7, then move immediately into our first 251 in the key of B flat major with C minor 7, F7, B flat major 7. One bar of B flat major 7. And then into our next 251 in A flat. B flat minor 7, E flat 7, A flat major 7. Notice the pattern that these 251s take. The one chord in each 251 switches from major 7 to minor 7 and becomes the new 2 chord in the next 251. In measure 6, we return to the starting key center of C through another 251. D minor 7, G7, flat 9, and then C major 7 again. These are all very quick 251s. Each chord only lasts for two beats, so we don't have a lot of time to outline the chord progression. Take a closer look at the notes used in each of these 251 lines. For the 251 in B flat major, Starting on the 2 chord, we're playing root, minor 3rd, and then root of F7, major 3rd, and resolving to the root of the 1 chord. The pattern on the next 251 is a little bit different. We're playing root, then 5th, then root, and major 3rd of E flat 7, going to the root of A flat. And bringing us back to the starting key again, we're playing root of D minor 7, 7, major 3rd, 5th of G7, and then root again of C. For some extra practice, try applying some of these patterns to 251s in different keys. There are 12 keys to choose from, 
So for example, I might try the pattern on the 251 in B flat major over, let's say, a 251 in B major. Root, third, root, third, and then B. What about a different key? What about 251 in D major? Or 251 in G flat major? This is great practice and will really help your 251s in different keys. Once again, we return to our walking bass friend, the walk up. We use walk ups a lot in these beginner lines, and that's because they really are essential walking bass language. The walk ups are all in the B section, starting from measure 17. over the D minor seven, G seven line. The pattern is always the same. We play D, root, second, minor third, chromatic note, root of the five chord. The same line is played again, this time over A minor seven, resolving to D minor seven. So we're playing root, second, minor third, chromatic, to the root of D minor. Measures 21 and 22 are the same as measures 17 and 18. Whoa, 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 and now a sharp left turn, a very surprising change in the harmony. What's this all about? We're expecting after the walk up and the walk down to play C major seven. Right, we're playing the two, five, one. C major seven will be the one. But John Lewis throws in a C sharp minor seven, F sharp seven line. Two fives are used in many different ways in jazz music. Sometimes they don't resolve to the one chord and are used for effect. This is similar to the A flat minor seven, D flat seven, two, five from the tune Satin Doll. Check out that video if you haven't already. There's a link in the description. Anyway, we're just passing through this 2-5 in B before setting up the home key of C major once again. Use this line in your jam sessions, rehearsals, or even in your music school ensembles. If you'd like to pick up a copy of this line, head on over to my Patreon page. It's available there to all Access members. Or you can pick it up on my website, jaredplan.com. There's a link down there somewhere. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoy the line and take care. Wow.